What's up, Logan? I got your question, man. I'm real glad you asked it. Because, uh, just so happens I have the answer. Let me look at what your question says. It says this. Dear Torlando, do you cook your ramen as soup or as noodles? Let me guess, man. You still eating that stuff? Come on now. You need to graduate. And I'm not talking from college or whatever level you're at. I'm saying you need to graduate in the kitchen. Because we don't eat ramen noodles no more. At least I don't. Because, man, that's too much... That's all carbs. Here's what you need to do. You need to learn how to cook, man. Because I knew, I knew a guy. He took the ramen noodles. And he crunched them mugs up. And he would cook a, like a pound of rice. And then every day, this is what he would eat. He'd lay the rice down. He'd pour some of them cooked noodles on it. He'd put some meat down. And then he'd crunch up some tortilla chips and put some cheese on it. And that's what he ate, man. I said, man, you must be 20 years old. Where's the vegetables, man? Where are you going to get the vitamins? Where are you going to get the nutrients? I'm going to help you out, man. Not that you asked. But I'm going to teach you how to I'm going to teach you how to cook Torlando's savory Moroccan soup. Okay? Let's do this. You need some vegetable stock. You need some diced tomatoes, no salt. You need a zucchini. You need some chickpeas. You need some artichoke hearts. You need some couscous. You need some cilantro. You need some chives. You need some cinnamon. You need some cayenne. You need some basil. You need some oregano. Okay, so the first step is to take um, three cups of your vegetable stock. Pour that into your uh, measuring cup. Put in your pot and then one cup of water and what I like to do is I like to take all my ingredients and I'll measure them out in the measuring cup and I'll put every single one into into a bowl you need about half a cup of chickpeas you have to slice your zucchini until you get about uh, half a cup of that. You need four quartered artichoke hearts, which is about a whole can. You need about half a cup of the couscous. You need about a fourth a cup of the cilantro. And make sure you chop that up nice and good. Okay, now that our cauldron is brewing, we can uh, add the, the tomatoes. Then add the other stuff. Now if you got a good wooden spoon, you should, you should get a wooden spoon. Or try to inherit it from somewhere. Stir that around and reduce your heat to about, I think I'm like a low medium, like a medium. Now it's time to add our seasonings. 
Where'd my where'd my teaspoon go? When it comes to your seasonings, I will probably do a little bit less than what I'm gonna recommend. Okay. For so cinnamon, I'm gonna recommend uh a little bit less than a teaspoon. For oregano, I'm gonna recommend about half a teaspoon. For basil, I'm gonna recommend a little bit less than a full teaspoon. For cayenne, now, a little of this will go a long way. So don't overdo it, because your, your mouth will be on fire. And if you're like me, you will have heartburn for three days. So I'm gonna do about a quarter teaspoon of this. This, here's the thing, here's an alternative, okay? Really what you should do is you should take some scallions and chop those up and get two of them. But I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this. If you're wondering what this is, it's freeze dried chives. But what's the difference, right? Now once you got your seasonings all in there, you can just you just stir it a little bit. And I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that simmer on that same heat. A little more than medium. I'm gonna let it simmer for probably about seven minutes, ten maybe. Me, I like to be able to, I just like to be able to see the, start to see the seeds from the zucchini. If you can kind of see the seeds from the zucchini, that's how you know they're, they're done, man. And just stir it occasionally. Then once you get that mug out, salt and pepper to taste, man. That's not that hard. And it tastes a lot better than ramen. So while your soup is going, don't forget to preheat your oven to something low and get yourself a baguette and heat that mug up. I got mine right here. And I just like to put it straight up on the rack. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So you see, Logan, it's not that hard, man. It's just soup. I didn't really answer your question though. Do I, when I did, when I did eat, eat ramen, what I did is I just, I broke it in half once and then, and it was half soup, half noodles. But let me tell you something, man. If you make a delicious soup like this, look at that, that's gourmet. That's gourmet. If you make a delicious soup like that, you can invite a girl over. You ever think of that? Torlando, you need to stop doing this. I told you we're not dating anymore. Put your ass in the microwave.